from that romantic summer evening in 1924 when Pol Pot was conceived to the first time someone figured out how to eat a pineapple without ripping their mouth to shreds, The Onion looks back at This Week in History. On August 15, 1914, the Panama Canal opened after going over budget by 10,000 dead laborers. While principal engineer John Findlay Wallace initially projected that 17,000 workers would die during the project, they were soon forced to reallocate resources to account for the additional 7,000 men that were slowly being killed by diseases, mudslides, and heat exhaustion. Managers for future construction projects learned from the resource mismanagement of the Panama Canal, with engineers of the Hoover Dam coming in right under budget with one million dead laborers. On August 19, 1692, five citizens were executed after being convicted during the Salem Witch Trials. All while dozens of witches, warlocks, and sorcerers stood by and watched the wrongly accused take the rap for them. While the perfectly normal humans charged with witchcraft were publicly hung and dragged to their unmarked graves, the numerous Salem citizens that did spend their evenings casting spells and awakening the dead merely lowered their heads as their friends and neighbors were burned at the stake. Historical records have indicated that as many as 35% of the people in Salem were actually witches and warlocks. In fact, the executioner himself was a well-known necromancer who, after hanging the wrongly accused witches, reanimated their dead bodies and apologized before casting them into the eternal fires of hell. Johnny Appleseed is my favorite. Here are my five favorites in order. Number one, Johnny Appleseed. Number two, LeBron James. Number three, the Sony Corporation. Number four, a good solid piece of cork. And number five, Jason Bourne. Those are my top five favorites. And on August 15th, 1965, the Beatles played to nearly 60,000 people at Shea Stadium in a huge gig, opening for the Mamas and the Papas. Gathering to hear such hits as Monday Monday and Go Where You Wanna Go, the packed crowd enjoyed the opening act as did Papa John and Mama Michelle, who allowed the Beatles to perform for 15 extra minutes. And that was what happened this week in history. In the words of American actor Mark Ruffalo, history will never forget me because I will murder tens of thousands of innocent people before publicly killing myself. Blood of men, women, children, and dogs will run the streets of California, Nevada, and New York. I promise you that.